Hey guys, it's Wednesday, November 23rd, and I am already ready to start the day. I'm actually eating some breakfast this morning. I got some berries and bananas, and we have a full day of pretty much cooking and prepping for Thanksgiving. My mom and I are going to really try to brine a turkey for the first time and see how that goes. Um, I've been working on editing my vlog uh, for yesterday that's going to go up today. And um, the dogs are kind of hanging out. They want to play. They've got some of their toys. And um, my mom and I, uh, she actually went to go work out. So I'm going to meet her and we're going to go get our nails done. I'm going to get a pedicure because you guys know I like to do my own nails. So when I go to nail salons, I only get pedicures these days because um, I'd rather do that <laughs> instead of my nails. Um, and I'm actually going to probably redo my nails tonight just because they're kind of they're, they're lovely, but they are definitely coming apart. This is like one of my favorite designs that I ever did. Um, I did that nail art collab with Judinka Nail Art, and it was so much fun. So I hope to do more of those. It definitely pushes me to be better or try new things. So um, we're going to go ahead and get our day started. I'll see y'all in a bit. So guys, I just got done with my mom doing our nails or... I got my toes done. She got her nails and her toes done. So it was kind of like my treat to her for her birthday because her birthday is December 3rd and I never get to spend it with her. So it was kind of nice to do that. And then all in this same plaza is the Baskin Robbins, the nail studio. So I got had to go to Baskin Robbins, which is my first job ever um, at this location. So I always go in there and I get a cappuccino blast. Basically, it's like my my coffee ice cream drink and I can't go I can't come to Pensacola and not get it so I always come in see the first place that I ever had a job so um, and then down at the other end of this complex is O'Brien's Bistro which is such a good like kind of like lunchy spot it's kind of like sort of fancy but it's in a strip mall um, and I got sandwiches for my family so I just picked up some chicken salad melts and I'm headed home. My mom's finishing up um, getting her nails done and then we're gonna eat and then we have a whole day of cooking ahead of us. So you guys hopefully are gonna get to see that and I will see y'all in a bit. All right, so we're gonna make the derby pie. I actually made this, um, I think last Christmas too, but here is the recipe and how to make it if you wanna know. And we've got all of our stuff, our one cup of chopped pecans, our pure vanilla extract, some semi-sweet morsels from Nestle, one cup of sugar, half a cup of self-rising flour, our frozen baked pie dish, and then it's going to take two eggs, so we're going to get started. We've also got our one stick of butter melting. guys next up we're doing a pecan pie we need one pie shell three eggs one cup of sugar half a cup of white caro two tablespoons of margarine one tablespoon of self-rising flour one teaspoon vanilla one cup chopped pecans half a teaspoon of salt bake at 350 for an hour so I got all of this set up here is our one cup of sugar half a cup of caro two tablespoons of margarine is melting one tablespoon of self-rising um, here is our one teaspoon of vanilla half a teaspoon of salt, chopped pecans, and then our three eggs. But I guess it's... Yeah, the pecans will float to the top. Yeah. They should. If they don't, then it might be all. All right, so next up is the rum cake, and these are the ingredients we're going to need. We've got our yellow cake mix. We're going to use half a cup of Bacardi rum, Half a cup of the Crisco vegetable oil, a whole packet of this Jello. I think this is vanilla pudding. pudding, and then we are gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then one cup of water. 
And then we're gonna put pecans in the bottom of the bundt pan and use four eggs. So let's see what that looks like. So mom, you're chopping up the pecans and just kind of putting one layer on the bottom of a greased bundt pan. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so Yay. we put all the ingredients together and now we are going to just use this mixer to <laughs> off that rum cake when it gets done we're just prepping this but you want to make a glaze so we've got one stick of butter fourth cup water fourth cup rum three-fourths cup sugar and we're just gonna put this in the saucepan right here so I've got my water we'll just prepare this before um, before that rum cake finishes cooking but we won't turn it on until it's done and then last is our fourth cup of rum. And we'll let that sit before our cake is ready. So guys, don't judge me. I'm totally gonna eat the leftover filling from the derby pie. It's so good. All right guys, so we are taking a break from the baking while everything is in the oven. And I thought the dogs might want some of their little chicken jerky I brought with us. We opened this in our bark box recently. So it's um, got sweet potatoes, kale, and cranberries, and these are kind of soft, which I really like treats that are a little bit softer for the dogs. So we're gonna go ahead and give them some treats. All right, here are my two poogs. All right, you gotta sit down. These treats are kind of large, so I break them in half. Sit, Dutch. All right, hold on. We gotta do. We gotta work for our treats. So you're gonna sit. Both sit. Come on, sit for me. <gasps> He stole it. You are a naughty, naughty pig today. Sit, Pearl. You're gonna have to work for yours. We'll make Dutch work in a minute. All right. High five. All right. Hold on. Wait. Sit, Pearl. Sit. High five. Good girl. Good girl. You worked. You did a good job. All right, Dutch. We'll, we'll try again. Dutch, come here. Okay. Sit down. All right. Come here, Dutch. You're going to have to work harder than she did because you were naughty. Down. Can you crawl? You can't crawl on this floor. Can you crawl? Crawl. No. Right. We're going to have to play dead now. Bang, bang. Psh. Good dead, Dutchie. Did you enjoy your crawl? So guys, we did our, had our nails or my pedicure done and look, my toes are messed up already. I put, I should have worn flip flops, but normally when you put a top coat on, this does not happen. So they did not do a good job. I totally messed up and should have brought flip flops, but normally that never happens. So, oh well for that. Dutch has his little monkey toy. He loves this thing. And Pearl likes to attack him while he plays with the toy. <laughs> Don't get it, Dutch. Get it. <laughs> he loves to attack him. Come on, get it. Get it, Dutch. Did you get him? Did you get him? Pearl, did he get him? Did he get him? <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> Release him. Okay, hold on. Go get him. Bring him back. Bring him back, Dutchie. Come on. Bring him back. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Get that boy. Bring him here. No? Come on, you wanna play? You're like, no, I'm done. Okay, good job. Now Dutch has the turkey that he got from his park box. Pearl's trying to get brave and steal it, but she's scared. <laughs> Dutch kind of controls the toys. He's definitely the alpha. Although Pearl tries to tries to be the brave one. Don't you? You try to be the brave one. 
Dutch, come on, bring me your turkey. Bring me your turkey. Come on. Come on. Well, you just want to scratch us. I know. Come on, Dutchie. There we go. There we go. Get him. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh. Woo. Dutch is, um, he's definitely been so playful this trip, which is good. We have so much more room here than in our apartment, so it's nice to get him out and let him run and He's just, he loves, he does kind of play fetch on his own terms. As you can tell, he's not going to bring it back right away. He brings it back when he's ready to bring it back. <laughs> so Pearl just came and sat in my lap. She said she would rather cuddle. She would rather cuddle than go chase the toys. It's okay, Pearl. I don't want to squeeze a little pig. I want to squeeze you, little pig. Oh, I know you like your ears. You like your ears scratched. Oh, sleepy pug. Oh. So you're just poking holes so that the glaze yeah. sinks in? Right. Now. Okay, so that's ready. All you have to do now is do the heat the glaze up. Alright. So right off with the oven. I mean the stove. Looks good. And then it has to sit because it soaks in. How long does it sit for? Mm, I let it sit all night. Okay. See how it's already soaking in? Excellent. So that is the beautiful round cake. And then over here, the derby's out and we already covered the con. So we are all set with the baked goods. Now we're moving on to brewing. It's dinner time and Mama gave you some chicken to spice up your meals. Yum yum. All right, so it's turkey brine in time, and we almost made a big mistake. <laughs> the recipe calls for apple cider. Where does it? Front apple cider. And we almost used apple cider vinegar. Two different things. So um, it also has brown sugar, orange peels, uh, rosemary, fresh rosemary, um, salt, bay leaves, and water. So we're going to start right now. All right, and then three cups apple cider. We have two cups of brown sugar. Alrighty, three fourths cup of salt. Five whole bay leaves. Now I just peeled these three oranges, and we're going to be putting all of these orange peels in. I think I forgot to take off some of those stickers. Oops. And then we also put in three tablespoons of the um, tricolor peppercorn. All right, and now I'm gonna take these rosemary the and just, okay, great. Five cloves of garlic are in, and now I'm gonna be taking these and just pulling off the leaves and putting in could have been whole garlic. four of those. So mom's having to crack the peppercorn because we accidentally bought a grinder and not just a a bottle that will open. Oops. <laughs> so we ground up three That's tablespoons. <laughs> That's Good work, Mom. Thank you. So here's the last of our peppercorn going in. We've got the rosemary. It looks really, really good. And I'm going to dump the rest of that in there. Awesome. All right, great. Now we just bring this to a boil and then let it cool. Dad is feeding the dogs um, parts of the chicken that he's deboning, and they are waiting their turn patiently. So guys, it's Ashley. I am. I know it looks like a <laughs> murder place. This is our basement. Um, I just wanted to show you that this little brining turkey business took a lot longer than I thought because it took a long time for the brine to cool down. But I wanted to show you what it looked like and here it is. The turkey's sitting in its little brine bath and hopefully it will make it very flavorful according to the recipe um, and just a little bit more um, moist tomorrow. So I'm really, really excited to try it. It's our first time brining so hopefully we did a good job.
so guys and then I don't know what got into me but I decided I would film a video tonight and upload it because I was inspired by all of the great indie nail polish sales on Instagram so I literally went through all of my favorite brands that I could find information for and brands that I want to purchase from this um, coming couple of days I put together a whole video on it so you guys will have to let me know if this was good if that was worth my time I did spend a couple of hours on it I thought it would be faster but of course whenever you do something new it takes a longer time but it was a lot of fun just to get the information and to know what's going on so I hope that's helpful to some of you um, that are into the nail polish stuff and um, with that I think I'm gonna call it a night tomorrow's gonna be another big day of food prep and cooking but we got a lot done today so I feel really really good about it and I am going to get out of this basement because it still creeps me out even though I am like 30 years old <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow bye